especially for the amount of frame size that they have. They're a little bit stouter made in terms of their features. Uh, maybe give up just a little bit in terms of length of size and size of scale. The gentleman here closest to me probably has the, uh, the, the sheep with the fullest leg when you can get your hands on them. Young man's done a real good job of uh, preparing this animal. Uh, with the uh, young lady here in second place, again, uh, a sheep that kind of really does follow, not just in color, but in design. Our first place sheep, and both of these really do have a little bit better structural characteristics as you watch them move around the ring here today. I generally don't put a tremendous amount of emphasis on that, but in this case, I think it's certainly merited that both of these uh, tie in a little bit smoother from that neck into that shoulder, a little bit stronger out uh, through that rack and out across their, their top line as you evaluate them walking around here today. Those are some other things that help to make my this pair up to the top. The young lady that stands in third place has another sheet that's grown really well for this young lady. Uh, a good young lady doing a real good job. And, uh, one of our junior showmen, our only junior showman is uh, doing a real good job. Asked her some questions about uh, her animal, and she did a real good job with those questions. Maybe just gives up a little bit uh, in terms of conditioning to the lambs that uh, were above her, the that were above her here today. The gentleman that stands in fourth place again uh, had a little bit of trouble getting this one to move around the ring here today, which uh, posed a couple problems for us when we try to evaluate these animals on the move. Uh, but the young man is doing a real good job. Again, I'd like to see a little bit more fullness on that. Here we go. A little more fullness down the top. We hit our hands on, on this sheet. Uh, it gives up just a little bit in terms of natural muscle shape when you put your hands on it. It's a little bit uh, One pointer as we went through here, uh, I don't mind you pushing uh, or think, but let's try not to uh, handle these sheep out of wool. We can cause some serious bruising on these animals if we uh, grab a hold of their wool. And sometimes I know that seems like a last resort if they're trying to get away from it to grab them by the wool. But that's the reason we lead them by the head or lead them by a halter or if you want to push along with your other hand, that's fine. But the young lady did a real good job, so uh, let's congratulate her and we'll tell her that's the job. Yeah, congratulations, Mackenzie. Uh, the young lady on the end is going to be our intermediate. Uh, young lady, again, if you want to step your, uh, your lamb out here, and young lady just done a real good job here again. Uh, very knowledgeable when I asked her some questions here about this individual. Uh, you can tell in these younger age groups, they're still uh, trying to figure out their way around the ring and having a little bit of trouble uh, with getting their animals to cooperate sometimes. But uh, so just keep watching these older kids on which side to be on their animals as they move them around the, the ring here. Uh, several of them are having some issues as they go around and kids kind of want to jump out in front of him sometimes, but he maintains control of her. You don't see him choking her and, and holding too tightly, but he does maintain control of her of, of the head at all times as he moves this animal around here. Uh, and again, I think uh, several of them are doing a real good job of being on the right side, being very smooth in terms of their transition. Uh, as I walk around, they get uh, in position so that uh, their animal is between me and them so that I can see the animal at all times. I think the thing that puts them over the top today is we just get those uh, seats set up just a little bit more quickly and get the animal placed for me to evaluate. The young lady here in second place, I think, is doing the, the, obviously the second best job of keeping this animal presented for me. I think she does have a little bit of an advantage by being able to uh, lead her just a little bit better. She does a better job of keeping her animal on the move, maybe, than the young man.